I'm Van Lathan, and this is the Upset the Setup action series in support of a fantastic HBO documentary called Stockton on My Mind. Today, we're going to be talking about an aspect of that documentary called The Boomerang Effect. We're going to be talking about that with Stockton native and former NFL player Lavelle Hawkins. You uh, left Stockton, you went on to college, you played in the NFL, and now you are back there at Edison High School as a coach. Explain to me what brought you back to your community when I am sure, being an ex-athlete, there was numerous things you could have gone and done after your NFL career was over, but you chose to devote your life to making a difference in your community. Why? I mean, the reason why I, I, I like, when I tell people, they be like, you left, you came back, I never left. Mm. I, I, I was always home, like, in the off season, I'm coming home because I knew how important it was for these young boys to be able to see me, you know, a professional athlete, you know, walking down the street, working out at the school, working out at the local gyms and all that type of stuff. I knew how important imaging was, you know, right. for the, you know, because I got a lot of young boys that, that came up to me like, man, you look Bill Hawkins, you ain't even that big. And so that, <laughs> you know, that little bit of inspiration, like, man, he ain't that big. I know I can do it. And so when you can touch and feel those guys and you can see that they're normal people, now the impossible comes possible. You know what I mean? So uh, I just felt like that was my job. That was my duty. There seems to be so much violence in the neighborhood and the city that you come from. Describe to us a little bit what it was like to try to overcome that. Because those are the stories that we see in the documentary. Kids who, despite the fact that they're teenagers and the world doesn't make very much sense to them in the first place, they're also having to overcome outstanding soul crushing odds to even have a chance at success how did you overcome those odds personally i grew up in a house with 12 with 12 people in a two bedroom um and my and my main goal when i was young i always you know i told my grandma i said grandma i'm gonna go to the nfl i'm gonna take care of my family and i'm gonna take care of my community i had an awesome grandma man my, my grandma stayed on us you know, we was just like any other kid. You know, we had our struggles. You know, probably didn't have much food in the house at times. But, you know, around the first of the month, you know, it was good. But yeah. towards the end, you got to eat some different stuff. But for me, I knew what I wanted to do. And I think for a lot of us, you know, we all go through struggles in life. I get it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I tell my kids, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. You know what I mean? We all go through struggles. Everybody got a struggle. Everybody around you got a struggle. But are we going to let our struggle hold us down? Or are we going to say, man, I'm going to fight through this? I feel like we got a lot of great things going on in Stockton, despite all the bad stuff, man. We got great people here, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying, despite of what everybody's saying. I feel like we we have a lot of athletes that come home. They're training kids. You know, they're spending time with kids. Um, and, and it goes back to that boomerang effect stuff. You know, guys are coming home. Guys are getting more involved than, than past. You know what I mean? So I think... Um, especially with Mayor Tubbs coming through with all the scholarship stuff, you know, the $500 checks that he's giving out to people that helps families out, you know, the scholarship stuff that, 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 that he's put in place. Like, I think, um, I think all that stuff matters, man. All those little things matters. You boomerang. We talked yeah. about it. You've left and you've come back and you're doing work right there, looking after the kids, raising them, doing your thing, really – Going above and beyond for the young people in your community right now as a football coach and a mentor, do you ever see yourself leaving? God has blessed me to be in a position that I'm in, not just for Lavelle, to help my city, my community. Like, that's that's all I really care about. You know, a lot of times in, in this world, people help you and want something back from you. I don't want anything back from you. I just want to see you shine. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you do the right thing. So, no, I don't see myself leaving. Let me tell you what the most important thing about learning more about Stockton was for me personally. Hope. Hope is a desert right now. There's just like not a lot of it out there in any way. When I saw some of the other beautiful activists and people that are really being involved in what's going on in Stockton, some of the stories, I was hopeful that things there are going to be better. And I believe that they will. And it made my entire day. So yeah. uh, I, I really have a lot of respect for you guys. I have a lot of respect for people that are on the ground in, in depressed and underprivileged areas everywhere. 
uh, trying to make a difference. And I wish you all the success in the world, brother. And I know that you will be successful, man, because your heart is in the right place. Yeah, no doubt. Man, I pre appreciate you, man. For real. Man, it's good talking to you too, brother.